Rose, what's going on? How the hell you been? So I never understood when the golfers would say, you know, it's all about your mental game. This guy's got to, he's got to have confidence in his putting. He's got to have that mental game. That's why he keeps failing. And I recently started playing disc golf. And dude, when I do a bad shot, when my disc goes into the tall grass, the first thing I say to myself, I realize in my, inside, I'm like, you fucking retard. Like, you idiot. I Like, I'm pretty, I'm very negative with myself. I'm like, Dude, you are trash. You suck. You are trash. Oh my god, dude! I this is how I and I'm just like, dude, you're fucking retarded. Wait, what? What was this? What was that? Why would you throw it like this? And so I started to realize, I'm like, holy smokes, man, I'm pretty negative with myself. This is not good. But not even like a, in a weird way, you know? Like it's it's okay to be negative with yourself. But uh, that revealed to me <laughs> that I that I that I'm pretty tough on myself because day to day actions. No, I'm I'm not like that. I I don't. I'm pretty cool. I don't know about you guys. Maybe down below, let me know. When you're competitive, do you get you know you like to trash talk yourself a little bit, kind of maybe motivate yourself. So that's that. But listen, uh, the reason I'm telling you this is because being human is not easy. Being a human is not easy. And we all want stuff. We want to find love. We want to have some money. We want to have a, a feeling of, okay, wow, my life has a bit of meaning. I have a bit of purpose. Right? We all want these things. Every single human wants these things. Like anyone that you can think of, anyone you hate right now, anyone that you despise, anyone that you love, they still have desires. But most people get put in a box where they sort of tolerate living without really getting to that place of meaning, fulfillment, and joy. So, you know, we'll go into that. But what I was saying is like, everyone you know has these, these things that they want. <clears throat> so it makes it very difficult. It makes it very difficult if you want something, but you talk to yourself in a way that is negative. Where you talk to yourself like, you you freaking stupid idiot. You ugly piece of shit. You are, you are cringy. You are embarrassing, dude. You cannot talk to yourself like this and think that you're actually going to perform with the confidence that it takes at the task at hand. Like, seriously, your mental belief needs to match up with to the level of what you're trying to achieve in life. That that's a that's an amazing way to look at it. Like, you have to mentally match up to what you are trying to accomplish. If I'm gonna go and play a game of disc golf and I'm already beating myself up on the second hole, the second basket, and I got freaking 16 more after that. How is that gonna how am I gonna do well? Sometimes, yeah, you know, it's not all about being positive. You could be negative. Sure, but I'm gonna be a hell of a lot better if I'm like, alright, you know, the, what's behind me is behind me. Now I gotta now I gotta throw. Now I gotta lock on my sights with all this mental chatter BS about how my past two throws, my past performance was, my failures. So it's all bullshit. So what I started to realize, not not from disc golf, but just in my life is that you need to be a bit careless. Seriously, you need to be careless. Now, I don't mean careless, a careless driver. I don't mean a careless um, citizen. What I mean is you need to be careless in, you need to care less than you do right now. Because right now you probably care more. You, you care a little bit too much about every little thing. Something, something minor. Oh, you, you think it all the way through. You're always analyzing every little thing. Some social situation, maybe a little cringy. That's okay, dude. Human nature is cringy. You're going to go through your whole life cringing. There will be cringy moments that you just forget about. That were natural human experiences. But now, just because you the, the camera kept, captures cringe, now it's out there for eternity. 
So now we're hyper aware of cringe, which is to be hyper aware of the human condition, which is to now go about your every little action, hyper critical and aware of every little thing and everyone else's little cringe moments. Now you're starting to ruin the fabric of social dynamics just because we're so freaking hyper aware. So you have to introduce a bit of carelessness. I do not care if I'm a bit embarrassing. I do not care if my every action is not perfect. I do not care if I have a speck of lint right here or if there's this shirt is not perfect, perfectly ironed. I do not care if I am not perfect. And I'm telling you, for a young man these days, I think it's one of the best things. It's to almost be functioning like you have two drinks in you. Like you have, like you took two shots. Like, like imagine if you could always be at that level. You just walk around where you just, you're not, you're not really drunk. You're not even tipsy. You're just kind of, you're careless, right? Oh, to be careless. What a wonderful feeling. What an amazing place to be, to be careless. You know, one thing I noticed a lot of young guys doing, one, one guy in our group, we were talking to this other, this newer member. And when he would talk to us, he was like, dude, why? Something's like, there's a barrier between us. And our, we were talking to the new member. One guy said to him, he said, stop trying to always be insightful. I thought that was brilliant because holy shit, this guy was talking to us like he's a professor. Like he is, he was hitting us with these self-development platitudes, these David Goggin quotes, these, uh, and no hate towards a new member. I'm just using this as an example. Men want to be relatable. We want to shoot the shit. We want to laugh. We don't like all this seriousness bullshit. Now the internet's come along and it's always someone talking to you, being insightful. The new studies, the new science, the new, the optimal way to do this. Always optimizing. Always trying to, trying to motor or say something that will like, Make people like you or like your posts, like your heart, your Instagram message so that we can gain a little more of this fake clout, you know? So trying to be insightful, trying to be impressive has taken away the ability to bond with other men because we don't want to be around other guys that are always trying to outdo you. We want guys that are trying to maybe outdo themselves, maybe be the best that they can, but also come on with me, bro. I'm not, I'm not any better than you. Like, I just want to. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Let's go, baby. So, you know, you don't always need to be insightful, which goes back to be a little bit careless. Be a little bit careless. Not every, not every uh, situation, brother, that you go through needs to be dissected. What's that damn razor that, that oh, not Ozarks, freaking Orkham's razor, whatever, Oakham's razor, where you just always get to the, you peel back so you get to the bottom of things. Like, dude, not everything needs to be dissected so finely. You are just living your life. Now imagine if you could live that with two shots, baby. No wonder you turn into alcoholic because it feels so good to be careless. But you can actually embrace being careless as a way of being. You might have to remind yourself a few times. You know, I know I do. I know sometimes I feel myself getting uptight. Sometimes I realize, oh man, I haven't had any salt. And then I, I start to like, seriously, electrolytes. I feel like if you're not performing well, you don't have the right amount of electrolytes. I'm not saying you should monitor this like a scientist. Just put a little bit of salt, dude, in your water. Maybe a squeeze of lemon. Or maybe just eat a meal instead of trying to fast all day. And uh, you probably feel better. But back to the point is like, you can learn to be a bit more careless in your life. Just let go. We could all probably do with just letting go a little bit. I also think that back to the human condition, being human is not easy. Being a man is not easy. Being a woman is not easy, right? But now we see the internet, we see social media where it allows a mask to be presented to the world. It's a virtual mask because it, it's like, remember the ball and the, the girls holding up that little freaking mask to their eyes and they're like, hmm, 
uh, hello, my good gentleman. And the guy, you know, whatever, the, the freaking balls, right? Think of a ballroom. All life is a stage. All the people are actors. So you, you see a virtual mask. You don't know what's behind that mask. You don't know what the person is dealing with. You know what they're really going through. So you're constantly seeing a world of masks. A world filled with masks. Other people, you know, people getting outraged at this and that. Emotional, it's best to, to not be around that. It's best to get away from that. And because it makes you, it makes you think that you need to also put on a mask. Which causes you to care more about what other people wearing masks think about your mask. So you really got to just take off the mask. That's really what it is. Okay, I'm going to take off the mask. I'm going to stop trying to chase being perfect all the time in the eyes of other people, caring about what they think about me. I'm going to let go. I'm going to start living my life. I'm going to let go. I, I, you know, I don't care if I talk to this girl. I'm not going to dissect my every interaction, every word that was said. But I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to being careless forces you to not try so hard. I'm also, I'm not going to spend all my money and my energy trying to get people to like me, buying different clothes, be, being fancy, having all this and that. No. Oftentimes when you do that, you'll find yourself in a box. You put yourself in a box, which means your life becomes just tolerable. I'm going to tolerate things that I do not like because I've decided to live this life with a mask on, a fake life, where I have to constantly have so much upkeep and I have to constantly, like, like there's a trade-off, dude. You got to realize that. And this is what I think you should get good at is look at what you're tolerating in, in life. Look at what you are tolerating. Not not political views. Oh, we're tolerating the LGBTQW, whatever. No, like, but look at what you have to tolerate in your life. You know, do you have to tolerate a boss yelling at you every day? That's a box. That is a box that you live in. And which becomes a prison. And it could be a life sentence if you don't think about how do I, what's the price that I have to pay? If you don't actually ask that question and sit with that question long enough to strategically plan a way out. Because there's always a way out of the box. There's always the keys to the prison. But you have to find them. And oftentimes it takes, you know, you looking where you don't always want to look. And filthy shall be found, as we say in the group. Right? It takes you, it, there's a price that you might have to pay in, in money and maybe embarrassment and maybe embracing some pretty uncomfortable moments in your life. And you'll find the answer. You know, you'll find the answer, but you do got to sit with that question a bit. How do, what's the price I have to pay to get out of this cage that I'm in? So there's always a way out, bro. There's always a way out. And uh, back to the message of the video, really just what I'm trying to get through here, talking to myself again is be a little more careless. Care about the things that matter and be careless with, with yourself. Be easier on yourself. Be your own coach. Be your own coach. You can't be this like, this, this angry mother as a man. Like, in your head, if your head is turned into a Karen uh, that that yells at the little child inside of you, dude, what way is that to live? If, if there's an angry, if you're a man, but you have your angry mother as a brain, how are you going to grow into this powerful being? It's not going to happen. It's going to be tainted by the anxiety of, of that, that motherly sort of spirit. It needs to be a little bit of that boy that was careless, that became that heroic, that, that took on the responsibility, that became something, you know? But it has that lightheartedness still, that full circle. Coming full circle, finds the joy in life, finds the humor, cares about what's important, but not everything, not everything. Does, refuses to have anxiety for stupid shit. Refuses. F that, All right? So, more carelessness. And you'll you'll feel free. You will feel like you unlock something. You'll feel way more free, comfortable in your skin. You don't. You can let go of trying to please everyone and always this. You you can abandon that negative talk. 
Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. So that's it, man. Keep it high, Dumos. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Come talk with us in the group. Love to meet you. Love to see you join. And uh, see you soon. Peace.